Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor, and today we're going to be looking at the 3D Modern Menu, which is a completely free template that lets you implement all the basic features of the perfect main menu. It does include a new game, load game, settings, and extras, even a brand new theme editor. It does come with a way to control different controls, video settings, and general game settings with additional key bindings, and loads of other cool features like pop-outs, dialog boxes, and more. And I do have a full main menu tutorial which can show you how to create something like this along with saving and really important features if you want to learn along in the same pace. You can never get to the Unity Asset Store and you'll find the 3D Modern Menu. You can just click to open in Unity if you don't already have it or add it to your assets. This will take you to the package manager and if you need to get to the package manager you go to window package manager and you can see the 3D modern menu. You can just hit to download and you can choose to import the package. It does have dependencies on TextMesh Pro or other things just say that you want to install and upgrade. It may throw a pop up saying about that some APIs are outdated and just say yes for those files and other ones that will be found later. It will throw up a bunch of errors if you just press the clear. That will get rid of those and you can import the text mesh essentials if that's important to you. You can go into the slim UI folder, go to the modern menu, go to scenes and you will find that there is some demos, demo one, demo two, and there's even a demo mobile. Then if you go to the demos and make sure you select demo one and remember there's documentation included if you want to extend some of the system and look at how it works. And if you do run this for the first time, you can see the modern menu here and the developer has extended the menu with a vertical layout group so you can add your own buttons. I'll show you how to do that. There is an exit button which has the dialogue for the prompt for yes or no, which is always good to have because you want to give players the option. An extras, which is just a menu relating to his other assets that he has. A play button, which has continue, new game, load game. The new game would go to the other scene if I'd put it into the build settings, but we can have a look at that a little bit after. Settings, and each button does have sound effects, highlights. It does have saving as well because you can up the volume and when you exit, it does remember. So it's got some options for game difficulty, music volume, which does affect the actual volume. Show HUD, tool tips, you've got key bindings. So these are just generic visual templates. You've got controls for the horizontal mouse look, vertical look, smoothing, invert mouse, custom controls. And like I said, I do have a full tutorial which shows most of these off to be able to understand how to connect them. Video controls to be able to add full screen ambient occlusion, motion blur and other effects that you might have. And of course, you'd need to change this to justify for your own game. So you can see how it's built up with the files in the hierarchy and you can see on the canvas main main folder the vertical layout because the layout group controls how many should appear. So if we then add something else it will then add additional buttons to the bottom if you need to add something and if we say we add too many by just duplicating them we can just drag from the top to extend the height of our menu. And while you're checking out this awesome free asset do be sure to come and support me on Patreon to get over 225 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. And there's a big list in the description and check out all the links because Cinti have a big sale on the moment. And of course they do come with a standard TextMesh Pro customization so you can adjust the text and everything in there. For each of the buttons you have got on click and trigger event style buttons. On the on click event it does run with a script that's on the camera which is classed as the UI menu manager with all the controls in there and you can check out the script in that and then it will open this menu which is called play here as you can see that it pops up that also has a vertical layout group so you can add new buttons you can see the continue a new game load game they're all different and with the actual new game button it does have the load scene so you can add your own scene in there to be able to customize how it works and each of the hover events do have the play hover from the ui manager script and if we scroll down and look into panels and enable the panel video, this is built on a 3D world space canvas, so it's slightly different to a normal 2D canvas, but you can see everything that's built out in here. So you can see the full screen button refers to when it's on click, it goes to the UI settings manager, which is on the canvas, and you can check that settings menu out here, and you can see that it does save to player preferences, choosing what type of difficulty that you've got adjusting all the sliders which also save to player preferences and to be able to do full screen or not full screen and be able to adjust all the settings along with shadows mobile shadows if you're using that motion blur to be able to get a particular type of component and as you can see that there's methods for each of the things which will adjust the full screen mode 
to set it on and off. For things with like the invert mouse, you would have to make concessions with this within whatever input system or program that you're using to be able to invert it because it does save and it does actually check to see if you've got anything saved previously. It will update the menu, but you need to actually make something that adjusts how to actually make that work in gameplay, which would be relevant for you. And relevant for something like the music slider does have an on value changed event, which will adjust the music slider with the canvas options and then check the volume to update the volume with another script. And it does have the event triggers, which also talk about the music sliders and be able to update those too. Just to mention that the UI menu manager does use its own custom themes. So if you go to the main camera and go down to the theme settings, you can go to the theme settings editor and you can choose whichever custom layout you want. You can adjust the colors for the text on the main. Let's say I like this one, which is custom two. I can go back onto the camera, make sure it's set to custom two. And as it was in my background, you can see that my UI has changed to a blue with a white text, if that's what we want to be able to use. Do be sure to check this out because I think it's a really awesome 3D menu that can really help you out and get your game started because menus take so long to put together. And remember, I do have a full tutorial which you can check out along with my full main menu system on my Patreon with over 225 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. So a big thank you to all my patrons and a massive thank you to Peter Steiner and everybody else who comes to watch the video. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.